Hello and welcome. This segment is going to be so much fun. It's going to pique your interest, especially if you're a baseball fan. With us now is Joseph Avalone, and he is with not the Yankees, but something to do with the Yankees. Welcome. How are you? Hi, Donna. So you did a film, and it's called Henry and Me, right? And yes. it's a movie, an animated film. A animated film. Uh, almost feature, kind of a feature, right? It is a feature. Okay, 67 minutes. Mm -hmm. Host of wonderful celebrities. Absolutely. Um, it's based upon a little boy who is stricken with cancer. Exactly. So let's talk about your fabulous new animated film. So let's start with that. So okay. the film um, is about a little boy who's been stricken with cancer, and he has to make decisions, right? Because when you're stricken with cancer, you really, it is a fight. They talk about that being a fight. It is a fight. So this little boy is really depressed, really down, and he gets met by an amazing stranger named Henry, thus Henry and me. Henry takes him on a journey where he gets to meet all these, he's a Yankees fan, I should start, start with that. The little <laughs> boy is a huge Yankees fan. So Henry takes him back in time to meet great Yankees, Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, Thurman Munson, Lefty Gomez. And through this, this movie, he learns through baseball metaphors to continue the fight, don't give up, believe in yourself. So the whole movie really is about hope, love, and inspiration. Uh, same thing as the show, same Hope, thing. Love, and Inspiration. There you go. <laughs> and that's why we're such a good fit. <laughs> you were also the guest on my radio show this past week, um, and what I learned to, uh, from you is that you're big on gratitude. Absolutely. Right? And so this movie is for anybody that just wants to celebrate the essence of life. Absolutely. And make a difference. Absolutely. Because this film, it really gives back. I mean, this is what this film's all about. It's, it supports approximately 30 different charities. So everybody that participated in the film designated a charity that they wanted their honorarium, you know, a fee, to go to. Also the profits of this film support those charities. So right then and there, it's such a beautiful film, and I don't say it because I produced it. <laughs> if you watch it, it's a beautiful film. We showed it the other day at Life, the Long Island Film Expo, and the people in the audience were crying and they came to me afterwards and they said, you forgot to mention that we needed tissues. Aww. But if you've been touched directly or indirectly by cancer, and who hasn't, this film will move you. It'll move you tremendously. Now I grew up a Mets fan, and I produced a Yankees film. Because Cannon Lake, you said before, it's not really about the Yankees. They participated, they were amazing, but you can be any fan, it doesn't even matter if you don't like baseball, if you've been touched directly or indirectly by cancer, if your child struggled with anything, maybe he didn't make the baseball team, maybe he didn't make the football team, maybe he didn't do well in class, whatever struggle your child's going through, this is a great film to show them, to believe in themselves. I was so impressed also with the cast of characters, oh. the voices. You've got Cindy Lauper. Who else do you have? You have so we have many. Richard Gere. We okay. have Chaz Palminteri, Danny Aiello, Paul Simon, <laughs> Lucy Arnaz. Uh, then the Yankee side, Hank Steinbrenner, who played his dad, Joe Girardi, Brian Cashman, C.C. Sabathia, Nick Swisher, Curtis Granderson, Yogi Berra, Reggie Jackson, and, uh, God, um, Willie Randolph. Goose Gossage, you name it, pretty much. You pretty much <laughs> name it, they're in the film. <laughs> they're in the film. Uh, and so you do have a website, and it's yes. henryandmemovie.com. And so you have a list of all the different people that have participated, mm -hmm. things, uh, people that have donated um, things in kind. Exactly. Right, because you have a lot of people to thank on this. Uh, how long were you running credits on your film? That's what I want to know. It just must have gone on Jeez, and on and on, right? I would say at least seven minutes of that <laughs> film is credits. Because, Ken Lee, it's not just the credits of the people that actually worked on the film. It's an animated film. And I should step back and say that this film is a 2D, that means classic dr uh, drawn film with 3D backgrounds. The amount of labor that goes into a film like this is extraordinary. It took us about four years, and that's probably on par with what Disney or Pixar would spend four to five years. So it's a very long time to do. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, truly a labor of love. In this case, it was a labor of love plus because it really was giving back to community, which we all you know, really love anyway. Um, so when you think about the people that we had to thank, you know, we had to thank millions of people. <laughs> but it's so valuable and it's so wonderful. And I know that this film has already, like you said, it's been in some film expos and it's mm -hmm. gotten some great write-ups, mm -hmm. Hollywood Reporter, you've gotten some great press on this project. Yes. Something new is happening though, the first part of August. Can we yes. go ahead and let's talk yes. about that? Yes, Okay. Um, Entertainment One, big distribution firm, um, is actually distributing our film. And initially it's going to show up, I believe on August 9th on Video On Demand, and also digitally, so iTunes, Google Play, and then you just have to check with your local carrier if you have Dish or DirecTV or Comcast, Verizon Fios, um, you can get it on VOD. Then sometime in September, and I'm not sure yet when, it will be uh, available on DVD in Walmart and Amazon. 
at least initially, maybe others as well. And you've been in this business like I have for a while. For a while. Uh, and we did talk about on the, the show the other night is that live action is so much easier than animation. Yes. <laughs> but you said you're yeah. willing to do it again. Yes. You're willing to do another yes. animated project. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. And what's going to be happening with that? Well, we have a great writer, David Stern, who wrote this film. And he also has written for Disney and Sony. Uh, Free Birds, I think, was the latest one that he wrote. Um, we've been talking to him about another project. And, but it has to be a project that we all that we love. Um, so he's been writing a couple of things. We're actually heading out to California, I believe in the beginning of August, to meet with him just to see what he's doing. He has a writing partner, and then we would take the next step. <laughs> but as I mentioned to you, when you're doing live action, I know people here on the set, they're all live action people. Live action's a piece of cake. You put a couple of people together, they act, put they on shoot a show, it, it's all good. Shoot digitally, you can shoot forever now. You know? Animation, it's literally, it's literally building a house and telling the builders where every single nail goes. That's how complicated it is. Because remember, it's frame by frame. Every nuance, everything that that character is doing, the background of what that character is, the, you know, the background where they live, the prop that they're using, everything has to be drawn. It has to be told purposefully where it goes. And what I also found interesting is that you started out like as a financial guy. Yes. And then you made the, yes, transition, the transition over to creativity. Yes. I was always an artist, right? But uh, right. I became, uh, you know, I was a CPA and, uh, you know, what I would tell all of your viewers, you know, if their children want to do something, become the accountant because he who controls the money controls everything. Always remember that. There right? you go. So once you control the money, you can do whatever you want. And what I always want to do is get into television. And then I, I did. You know, my, my, my life took me there. And then from that, I got to meet amazing, tremendous uh, creative talent. And then has, you know, I've been able to evolve. And, you know, today, post-production, production, and now animation. And people are saying yes to you because you're very other-centered. You really do care about everything. And um, I think this is going to bring about a lot of awareness, you know, for children's mm -hmm. cancer. And like you said, just any type of challenges, mm -hmm. anything in life that we need to try to overcome, that we can do it with teamwork. Absolutely. So, and a positive attitude Absolutely. of gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> That's the key. And I want you to come back time That's and time key. again. So no worries. What would be the next step for you? People should just go to your website yes. and engage with your yes, brand? Yes, I think they should go to the website, henrymaymovie.com. Okay. Check out the trailer. I think when you see the trailer, you'll get a tremendous sense of what this film is about. I think we blew people away on Saturday at the Long Island Expo. I don't think they were prepared for what they were about to see. Because when you hear independent film, you know, you think, you have a thought that comes in your head. When you see this film, I'm not saying it's Disney, because it's hard to do Disney. But I will tell you that the background artists, the character artists, were Disney. They were Excellent. Disney people. So when they see this film, it really is beautiful, beautiful story. It will move you. Bring tissues. That's all I suggest. Bring tissues. Bring Thank tissues. you very much, Thank Joseph. you so much, Donna. Lovely Thank you. to have you here. Please stay tuned for more on Live It Up. And you know that I share my story about my children. I, st I share my story about my mom and my spouse that died of colon cancer and breast cancer. I do so many things uh, about this particular subject. I am, um, as you know, a Cardinal fan because I grew up in St. Louis. It doesn't matter if you're a baseball fan for the Yankees or whatever. If you really care about somebody, if there's somebody that you love in your life or there's a challenge that you're going through, please, I'm imploring you to go to this website. I think it's really going to make a difference, and that's why we invited Joseph on. Thanks for watching. Live it up.